Hello everyone, this is uh, Peter Deswit again. I uh, just wanted to give an update of some of the stuff I've been reading and in the last couple of weeks I've been busy filing a lot of taxes and these are some of the things I found out while going through taxes with some of the clients I have. Again, my name is Peter Deswit and uh, I am Navajo from Farmington area. One thing is I wanted you all to know is that uh, I do teach accounting at uh, San Juan College and Danette College. So I do have an accounting background and I've been doing taxes for probably 17 or 18 years since 2003. So about 17 years. Okay, so I have been doing this for quite a while. So here's what I've been reading is that people who are not going to be getting the economic stimulus checks. Okay, so there are 12 categories that I'm finding that people are falling into. So the first one is if you have differing bank accounts. For example, my wife and I, we file joint and our bank account is a joint account as well. I did have a client call me a couple days ago and say, um, I did have an account, but it was, you know, we had separate returns and they went to my bank account. Okay, so the bank accounts have to have the same name and they have to match up. Okay, so make sure that your bank accounts, if you're filing joint, make sure you have a joint account. Because if, uh, for example, my wife, her name is Carrie Deswood, if the account was only in my name, then they would see that she's not a part of it. Okay, so be careful with that one. Number two, if you didn't put any bank info on your tax returns, okay, the IRS is activating that portal on either today or tomorrow, so the 13th or 14th of April, and I'll put a screenshot of that right now. Okay, right now the actual portal it just says it will be coming soon, and where that where that is that means like you might have owed money or you just wanted to get a paper check. Okay, then then they're gonna file. They're gonna put a space where on the web portal where you're you'll be able to put your bank information. Okay, now keep in mind though the TurboTax site that I did a step by step how to fill it out last week. That is for people that were on SSI income. That means you made below $12,200. If you were single and if you were married, then it would be $24,400 and below. Okay, that's for non-filers. Okay, that also is active on the IRS website. It'll say non-filers, put your information here. I'll take a screenshot of that as well. Okay, so the portal for others to upload bank information will be opened up later this week. Okay, that's kind of what I'm reading out right now. So if you, here's another reason you might not get it. And I've had quite a few people on my videos asking this question about, I got a payday loan, things of that nature. If you have an agreement with a payday loan company, maybe a paycheck advance company, remember they have access to your bank account information. So if that stimulus check is deposited in your account, they might reach in there and get that money. Okay, so be careful. Remember, you have to read the terms of that payday loan, okay, or paycheck advance loan. Okay, so that's the third one. The fourth type is if you don't have a social security number, okay, even your dependents, one of your dependents, okay, if they haven't, if they don't have a social security card yet, let's say you had a kid and they, you haven't gone and got them a social security card. So then if they haven't, if they don't have a social security card yet, then you can't claim them as a dependent, okay? The next group, the fifth group, is if you have an ITIN, which is an undocumented worker, um, I'm hearing this group will not get a check as well, even though they are paying taxes, okay? The, the sixth group of people that might not get a check is people who do not pay their child support, okay? I did have someone call me and ask me about this question, saying they were current, but they were getting back checks or something like that. But I would check with your state, okay? Check with your state child support enforcement office and see if you're current, okay? That's another one. What I'm hearing is that that, that check might be intercepted by the child support office and sent to the custodial parent, okay? So remember, make sure you're current on your child support. Okay, the seventh one that I'm hearing is if you don't file a 2018 or 2019 tax, so that's obviously you just didn't file. So you're not current with the IRS, okay? And so basically what they're trying to do is make sure that everyone is current on their taxes, okay? And in all honesty, I've probably done about 
10 to 15 in the last two weeks where I'm getting people caught up on their taxes, okay? Typically, you can only go back three years. But here's the thing, though. They won't contact you, so you probably might have got money back. So if, they, if you're getting letters that uh, you need to file, you probably owe them money, okay? The eighth type of person that might not get a check is people who fall victim to scams, okay? So um, the IRS put a news release out today saying that the number of scams that they're getting calls about is going up and where people are saying we can exit out your check if you pay a processing fee do not do that okay do not do that okay so that was a scam alert that came up from directly from the IRS just uh, this morning about 10 o'clock okay the ninth group of people that might not get a return and I actually just did this on Saturday I had a elderly lady call me saying that I am claimed as a dependent on my daughter's taxes. Will I get a check? And I had to tell her no. I said you cannot be a dependent on someone's taxes, okay? So what we did was I ended up filing her taxes for her. I think she ended up making like fifteen or sixteen thousand. So she gets she got a ten ninety nine a retirement income. I can't remember the, all the details, but but she she did I did have to file her returns and so then that ended up allowing her to get that $1,200. At least she was registered for, with the uh, IRS and the Department of Treasury, okay? So if you are, remember, if you're dependent on someone else's return and you're elderly, okay? This one, I, I just did this one on Sunday or yesterday as well. A college student or a child that is younger than 17 if you're younger than 17, you'll get you'll be dependent. But if you're older, which a lot of college students, excuse me, fall into this category, they're 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, all the way to 24. Okay, this particular instance, I had to talk with the mom and the daughter. I said, okay, so here's what's going to happen. Uh, if if you claim her as a dependent, you're not going to get the the dependent f extra $500. So I ended up filing taxes for the daughter. So then the daughter will get the $1,200, okay, so they I had to file separately, okay? All right, so the 11th type is, you if you were unemployed this year, but in previous years, you your income was above that $75,000 adjusted gross income threshold, meaning you made too much money, essentially, or if you're married and your adjusted gross income was above 150000 okay? And then the last one that I'm hearing about is if you filed your 2018 but not your 2019 and you had a baby in 2019 or 2020. Okay, what happens is I think this was one that I talked about earlier. You're dependent not having a social security card. They, they're kind of the same. But what happened is whenever you filed your, if you filed your 2018, you hadn't indicated to the IRS that you have a new dependent. Okay, that's why it's important. So if you haven't filed your 2019, make sure you update your 2019 so then your new child or your new baby born in 19 or 20 can be put on your 2019 taxes, okay? So again, if you all have any questions, feel free to text me, 505-330-6853, just not past 9 p.m. at night or before 6 a.m. because I'm usually running. But if you have questions, um, again, I do this for educational purposes, in particular for, for Native communities so that our elders and Native people aren't taken advantage of, advantage of or actually uh, minority, minoritized people aren't taken advantage of, so it's basically for educational purposes. But again, this is Peter Desert, and I'm coming to you from Farmington, New Mexico. Thank you. Thank you.